Hey there YouTube, this is JV111 here, and welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies. So, today, I'm going to show you around what I've been busy with, and then we're going to get into probably creating some auto-crafting. Uh, there's a quest in the book, let us go take a look, that does involve some auto-crafting things that we need to create in the digital storage area. So we're going to take a look at that. And but first, let's see, show you what I've done. So as you can see, I've expanded what I have here a little bit. I made some lava production over here because our ender generator wasn't creating enough power to sustainably keep this full. This requires quite a bit of power, a lot more than I was anticipating. So we're going to probably also look into another episode when we get into it some... Uh, what is it? Uh, some other power sources. i got to do a little bit more research on it. And yet say we'll be loud today. I also made a solar generator and a daylight sensor. So the way the solar generator works, it's a little bit pricey. It's a diamond block and um very those components here. Let me just take a look at it. Solar. Yeah, so a diamond block, three nether quartz, a furnace, two redstone, two lapis. If you have enough diamonds, it's not very pricey. It's not the greatest thing if you have a full day world because this creates um, power through the sun, like a normal sun, a uh, normal uh, solar pa a solar panel would in IC2. The only difference is this requires a uh, redstone signal to switch between um, creating power and sending power. So that's why I made the daylight sensor over here. So this daylight sensor, what it does is it creates a redstone energy signal whenever it uh, detects daylight. Here's a quick vanilla inverter, a simple piece of redstone, a redstone torch, and any block connected to that signal. So when this registers that it's time for... Yeah, when this registers when it's time for day, it goes through the system, flips this off, and this creates power. Vice versa, when it registers that right now it's night, this cuts off the signal, turns this torch on, and now this generator knows transmit power. So as you can see, this is just a, a t the hard energy. So we might, um, when we get into uh, auto crafting, get set up to a way so that way we can actually start creating maybe a resonant energy cell. And we're going to need a lot of sulfur, so we're going to have to find a way to generate quite a bit more sulfur and more power. And I might have a way to do that, but right now, I want to get into some auto-crafting because I am sick and tired of always having to have certain things on hand, pre-made. If we can get auto-crafting going, this will be a whole lot easier. So first, we're going to figure out what we need for the quest. And based on what the quest asks us, we will create more items. So, we need an Emmy assembler containment wall, a pattern encoder, blank pattern, a heat vent, pattern provider, and a crafting CPU. Now, I want to build, I believe it's going to be a 5x5. Five five. That's what I want to build. Uh, so, we're going to need quite a bit of stuff. So, for 5x5 five five containment wall, uh, let's just quickly outline this in... Eh, we can use it For now. So, one, two, three, four, five. Five. It's not going to be right here. I'm actually going to build it uh, below this platform. So this is what that would look like. Then I would go one, two, three, four, five, and then that would go across. So this is one. So right here it's five, five. So that's ten, sixteen on the bottom. Um. And it's going to be 12 on top, so 16, 12 is 28. 3, 6, 28, that's 30, 
four. And then another six here. It should be a total of 40. That should get us the exact amount we need. I just had enough materials to actually pull this off. So, uh, contain no wall. Ah, it's not that bad. Okay, so, and we're already out of iron. This a few times. Okay. Two, three, four, five out of gold. Made twenty nine. Need more gold. So need more iron. Nine and forty. All right, so I'm actually going to build it in the floor. So that's going to be start off right here. So three, five. So all right. It's gonna just be encompassed through this. Five. Do do. Go quick F7. See if I need any torches. One torch there. One torch there. Kill this torch, one torch there, kill this torch, alright, so now, do, do, oh, I did not want to get rid of, oh, maybe, yeah, let's see. Nope, did not want to get rid of that one. Cause that one's gonna go up. There we go. And a torch will go there. And containment wall, containment wall, containment wall. Okay, so the top portion's complete. I believe we should have a flight potion still available to us from a reward. Light. We do indeed. Hopefully this works. We have flight. Excellent. So I have to be very careful. So now For now, just a quick torch. Because it looks like these are actually spawnable areas, and I'm not going to have enough 
Darn it, I miscounted. Any other, any other four. One, two, three. Need gold. Four. I'm also going to need some blocks, so I'm going to probably use uh, some cobble. And you'll see why I want the blocks. Oh, just don't want to double tap. Happens when you get a little bit like, alright, how much time do I have? Six minutes. Should be plenty of time. Okay, and cobble, 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 cobble around. Oh, oh, shit. That Enderman is a jerk. Oh boy. Alright, so that's kind of the reason why I wanted to have cobble there because we're going to put place heat vents there eventually which is actually next thing we're going to be making so ooh heat where are you heat vent requires ME cable and iron bars we need a total of one two three. there's six sides times three eighteen so and already we're out of these things. Luckily, they're not too difficult to make. Eh, two stacks. We need more iron already. And we, wow, we need a lot of these. This is going to be very iron hungry. I can already see it. Okay, so heat vent. We're going to take our torch already there. Which one have we got on the flight? Okay. I'm actually gonna go flight mode for this. Apply two heat vents right away. And I miscounted. Can we do it six by three? It's six by nine. Ugh. Alright. Not a big deal. We'll make more.
Let's see how far we go with 29. It's probably way too many. Holy crap, I need another nine. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. Okay, we're going to make another nine. We're going to put it to the side. Just going to take a look at time, make sure I'm still within it. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. One more. Nine. Excellent. Okay. So, as you can see, I'm, I'm basically building a multi block. For those of you who are unfamiliar with applied logistics and the way the assembler works. So, the next thing is, I need to determine inside this cube here, pattern providers and CPUs can go in. So now what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to do a layer of, yeah, I'm probably going to do six pattern providers, and the rest of these are going to be crafting CPUs. And the reason for that is because the more CPUs you have in here, the faster the processes can go. However, when you make, um, if you want more storage options, then you're going to want more pattern providers. So that gives you more things you can craft. I don't think we're going to be crafting a whole lot of stuff, to be completely and totally honest, especially in this series, because our goal is to complete processes. We're going to be craft. We're going to be setting this up so we can craft a lot of. Um, would be to make base crafting items. So things that we're going to use a lot or are required in a lot of the recipes. So let's go with the pattern first. Pattern provider. It's required. Oh, I need a bunch of these. Oh, for f bloody hell. All right. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Luckily I have a redstone furnace here, so go to town. And I need oh, double team. Okay, I need ooh, that's a lot of conversion matrix. I need at least twelve. How many can I make? Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Ah, there we go. One, two, three, four for now. Don't think we need any more after that. Dump that in there. And we need some chests, so let's make six chests. Or crafting tables. All those are cooking. Need some more flux dust. And I need some more pulverized leather. 
make a bunch of that quickly. Let's make it some hardened glass for our future thing. Oh, darn it. Oh, well. too late for that. Let's do that quickly. And was I making? Oh yeah, conversion. Twelve. Now pattern. What else am I missing? What? I have storage cells. I got storage segments. Oh! Darn it. Uh, this is gonna suck. Okay, how about the storage cell? I need six at least, so I need another six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll be quick. And I'll get the setup ready for. S I don't know. So, where are you? Store cell. There. Ooh. Did what? Oh boy. An adjustable enemy storage. Only hurts 27. What? Um. Okay. There are things in this mod that I need to do some research on. I got six. And any more iron? All right, we have six. So now what we can do. Now you'll notice that like each one of these has a page. So with six of these, I have six pages I can play around with. So I can get out. Next, we're going to need crap the CPUs. I think the CPUs are going to be the hardest ones for us to craft because it's going to cost the most. CPU. Oh yeah. And we need. At least, I'm just gonna set that up. So, one, two, three, nine, nine. Nine, ten, nine plus nine is eighteen, plus three is twenty one. So, I 
And there's another Enderman. So here's what we're going to do. Because I got another quartz coming out of the wazoo. We're going to wait for that to do its thing. We're going to go kill that Enderman. We're going to make the additional 21 we need. Cook them. Put them in. Well, there's two Endermen, so... Thank you for your Ender Pearls. Stop this process. Cook those. Almost there, guys. So I'm going to do is break this. Put these in here. Get the uh, get the CPU set up. Use the crafting recipe. And we're going to start building it as we go. So, Need the last three. Put in the heat vents. And if this all works out, we have a assembler ch chamber with six pages. More than enough stuff. But that's not all we need to do. So, next up we need me cabling and also just want to do something quick grab that grab, uh, grab that grab that grab that and that surprise isn't part of it yet but it shall be now Things I don't need. So we got the ME cable. We're going to run the cable from here. All the way to here. For now. Going to fuse these because these chain pants are going to actually end up giving me the, another little bit of steel. So now this is connected. Uh, how much power are we using? Eh, not too bad. Could be a whole lot worse. Okay. So, take a look at time. We're going to quickly build the last two items we need, complete the quest, and then I'll show you how everything is made. So, for the quest, the last two items that we need are a pattern encoder and a blank pattern. So let's go. Pattern encoder. Need nether conversion matrix. Oh, crap means I need to do a quick smelt on that one. What else do I need? Nope, 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 nope. Need one of those quickly. So drop that in there. 
that set up. Do, do. Got that. Drop that in. Got that. So this actually doesn't need any power whatsoever, so I can place whatever the heck I feel. So I'm just going to plop it there. Blends in with the thing. So when we look inside, you're going to notice there's a, there's a bunch of uh, things here. So there's a 3x3 three three grid. This will actually create the item that we're looking for. You can put blank patterns, which we're going to make in about a second, and then they're going to encode them, and then you can drop the encoded ones into ooh, 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 our floor. So, blank pattern is made with sugar and sand. Oh, I got sand. Okay. I actually wanted to save this sand for a quest, but we need more glass. So, one, and two. So now we have a blank pattern. I'm actually going to use this blank pattern because I'm going to show you guys exactly how it's used right now. You shift click in, depending on if you have any integration with it, the recipe that you want, which is a blank pattern, encode it. We can now drop it into here and pattern. I can now craft them as I see fit. I'm just going for this to finish and uh, we're going to complete the quest. Dun, 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 All right. Ting. These interfaces are actually going to be another thing we're going to encode. Uh, a few things we're going to encode. Yellow heart canister. Oh. Does it give me another... Oh, it does. Cool. Okay. Things to look forward to. Alright, what have we got in this? It is a greater reward bag. I got... And another regeneration swig. Alright, let's just take a quick peek at the next quest in that line. It wants me to make a 16M storage. I might just be able to do that next episode. So that's actually what we're going to do next episode. Because <laughs> I should have enough. Uh, we'll and we'll take a look. Alright guys, so, we are going to call it an episode here today. So thank you guys all for watching. If you guys haven't done so yet, please like and favorite this episode and any others you guys have seen. And also please subscribe, and now you guys can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash jthe111. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then though, stay frosty.